What's up guys? Back here with another build. This one's a big one. That's a big old girl. Uh, we're gonna be doing a couple things on this. Suspension, fixing some rust, doing some paint, and a couple other little things. And then I think eventually we're gonna be doing some stuff on the inside. Maybe a sleeping platform. Maybe some stuff to make it a little bit more overlandy. So we're gonna get going on that. First thing we're gonna do is get this pig up in the air. Hopefully, uh, you know, everything will go up high enough. So here we go. This is a 2003 Ford Excursion. The king of SUVs. The biggest SUV ever made. Uh, this is one of our customers. We've done some work in the past um, installing this ARV bumper, which we're gonna make some adjustments on today. Some lights. This has 35s, it's got a two inch lift. Today, what we're doing is we're gonna fix some of the rust on the bottom, um, do some painting, use some rust encapsulator, um, start taking the suspension out. Uh, we have a four inch pro comp lift for this. So that'll be good once that's all done, it's gonna be a lot bigger. Basically need a new shop for this thing. All right guys, so you can see that Northeast winters have not done this thing any justice. So what we did was uh, we pressure washed and degreased the whole frame um, and scraped off all of the loose stuff beforehand. Uh, now we're just cleaning up the frame and then we're gonna use some uh, Eastwood uh, rust encapsulator and uh, chassis paint to take care of this. These rockers, we're kinda gonna stay away from these holes because uh, the customer is going to have a body shop put new rockers on once the lift is in so all this will get replaced with new metal And we'll get this thing back on the road in all of its glory uh, We're gonna go over everything with a coat of chassis black um, we've left this back section unpainted for now because what we're doing next is removing all of the leaf springs, everything so we can get into these tight spots, um, grind and clean. We'll do the same thing with the uh, rust encapsulator, then we'll come in with the chassis black. But yeah, that's the progress so far, so we're going to start ripping apart the back end. Six and a half hours later.
Not in this pandemic. <laughs> Anthony, edit this part to make me look cool. You got it, dude. Alright guys, get ready to take this front leaf spring out. And this thing right here, on a vehicle this old and this rusty, lifesaver. This is a heat induction coil, and you basically just slip the right size onto the bolt or nut you're trying to get off and just push the button, it heats it up, and it makes it all 10 times easier to pull that bolt out. So we're gonna get going on this, and uh, hopefully these ones come out easy, and then we'll just start dropping the front down. All right guys, here she is. Back on all four. This thing is a monster. I can't even fit it in the shot. Uh, right now, these are just 35, 12 and a halfs on the stock wheels. Um, I think this customer is gonna upgrade to a 37 and an aftermarket wheel. guys this one was a beast it was uh, it was a hell of a job tons of rust so everything needed to be heated um, and taken out before it would snap a lot of uh, rust encapsulator we had to use um, all new paint job underneath but it turned out awesome I mean this thing is a beast next thing on this one is we're gonna change uh, to the interior and we're gonna do a sleeping platform in the back so it'll be a nice little overland camper style rig and then after that I think he's got a new winch coming in. Uh, like I said, wheels and tires. Uh, we are gonna do some custom sliders for this thing, so stay tuned. At the end, we'll do a full walk around outdoors, get some nice cinematics for you. Uh, if you guys like that, comment below. If you wanna see it, uh, you know, a walk around after each stage of the build, uh, comment below. But yeah, we'll keep cranking out videos on this thing. A lot of people love these trucks, so um, till the next one.